lurking in this place I worship you I worship you Good morning boys and girls. My name is Uncle Richard and I will be your teacher for today. Today, May 10, 2020. Our lesson title is The Christian and Politics. The scripture reference is taken from Exodus chapter 3, 1 to 15, chapter 4, 10 to 17, and chapter 18, verse 13 to 25. Our lesson focus. Political involvement is not an unchristian activity. God's people are called to lead and direct the affairs of the society in which they live. Evidence of this is found in the story of Moses. Our lesson summary. God revealed himself to Moses from a burning bush as he was tending his father-in-law's sheep. God told Moses that he was sending him to Egypt to tell Pharaoh to release the Israelites from bondage. Moses did not want to go and even suggested to God to send someone else. But God gave him the assurance that he would be with him. God even provided a sign of his presence. After Moses successfully led the Israelites out of Egypt, he became overburdened by having to function as leader, teacher, and judge. His father-in-law Jethro gave him good advice on how to be a delegate, how he could delegate some of his responsibilities. Moses sought the mind of God and divided the Israelites into small groups with a leader who would hear complaints and dispense justice. Those who Moses chose were men who feared God, were trustworthy and hated this honest gain. This is a requirement for those who are leaders at every level. Our memory verse is taken from Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 to 14. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored. It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. That's Matthew 5, 13 to 14. For reflection. Do you think Christians should be involved in political leadership? What are the reasons for your answer? How can society benefit from having political leaders who are Christians? Or conclusion. Christian involvement in politics is both necessary and desirable so that a good fearing society can be developed and citizens order their lives in ways that are pleasing to God. Here ends our reading for today. Have a great day boys and girls. God bless.
touching every heart.